what about, what was like, I know you mentioned like there were several different experiences that you had at church and dreams and everything. What was one that really stuck out to you that really contributed to your eventual accepting Christianity is true? Well, I can, <clears throat> as, uh, I can, t I can tell you about uh, one of the dreams, which there were two main ones that I believe involved intercession from the Spirit. Were you, at this time, were you like really investigating? Okay. Were you reading scripture a lot? Were no, you praying the, the at all? No, the first one, the first one, uh, I wasn't even thinking about Christianity or belief. I was an agnostic. I didn't know what was going on. Okay. And I didn't understand the dream at all when I had it. And it was a very frightening dream because I, I don't like heights. <laughs> and I was hanging from the edge of a cliff, uh, terrified. I didn't know what to do. And I couldn't climb up. I was holding on with my hands. And I screamed out, help, help. I didn't know who I was calling to. I just said, help, help. And I heard a voice say, just let go. And I said, what? what? I fall down. And the voice said, just let go. So I finally said, well, okay. So I, I let go. And the moment I let go, the entire landscape turned 90 degrees. And instead of hanging from a cliff, I was lying on the ground. And there was a man whose voice, voice I had heard standing there. That was the man who said, just let go. I woke up and I was like, whoa, <laughs> what was that? I didn't know what he meant by just let go. I didn't know who it was. And then eventually, of course, um, I found out that, of course, the man was Jesus Christ. And what I had to let go of was all the baggage that was in my life that was preventing me, absolutely blocking me from even considering the idea of a God. And I, eventually, I did let go of all of that. Wow. That's crazy. Was there another one? You, you mentioned... The other one, one that was, was later, later, and the other one, <laughs> the other one was I was already thinking about maybe believing in something. Uh, I don't remember exactly where I was, but I, what I do know is I had never been to a church yet, uh, other than that one Catholic church. I might have been there already, but I had never. What were they wearing? The Franciscans? Was it? Were they like oh, robes? brown robes? Yeah. 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 That freaked me out a little. Wasn't bit. Wasn't that cool though? It was kind of. It was cool. cool. It was cool. They were very cool people. They were really <laughs> nice. Uh, like yeah. the little rope? Yeah, little rope. Yeah. I thought that was weird. <laughs> did they did they like shave their heads? Or I don't anything? remember that. They, they might did. have. Yeah, I don't remember. Catholics, but, man. Catholics. Yeah, well. <laughs> so That's uh, another story. Yeah, so tell me tell me about the experience. So so I had and I had not read I had not yet read the gospel. That's definite. Uh, so I had a dream that I was walking around the garden trying to get in, a walled garden. And I couldn't get in. I, I, it was very steep walls, and I was kept trying to climb up. And I, mm. I found vines and little things, that, but I couldn't get to the top. And I got really frustrated, and I kept going around. And I, and then, then I saw a man, and, and he said, what's the matter with you? And I said, I, I want to get in, and I can't climb over. He said, well, then use the door. There it is. So I walked in, opened the door, and walked in. And there was the garden. And <laughs> later, when I was in church, I, I think the first time I went to the church I'm now a member of, there was a picture of Jesus knocking on the door. But I had never heard that knock on the door, and it, you know, if you knock, it will be open for you. That was, mm -hmm. I had yet to re read that, but I dreamed it. So that, that had a big effect on me, as wow. you can see. <laughs> yeah, I'm like about to start tearing up myself. Hello, Cameron here. Thanks for watching this little clip. If you want more, there's actually a whole interview this clip came from. Just uh, click the link on the screen. Oh, and by the way, we post two to three new videos a week. So if you're interested in apologetics at all, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can catch our latest content. Uh, oh, and then lastly, remember that Christianity is true.